Hello, I'm James Henley, Director of RDA Toolkit, and I want to walk you through logging in to the new RDA Toolkit beta set. First off, in order to access the beta site, you do need to be a subscriber to RDA Toolkit. If you are not, um, I encourage you to sign up for a free trial, and that will give you 30 days of access to both the original RDA Toolkit and to this new um, beta site. So logging into the new beta site is mostly like it was for the original toolkit, but with a couple key differences. First off, you can use IP authentication um, to log into the beta site. So if you already have that set up with your account, you simply need to navigate to the beta site and you will be logged in um, to your account. If you do not have that, then you would use the same um, user ID and password that you've had. So here I will show you an example. To log into my um, ALA account, I simply put in my user ID and password and click log in. You can see now my institution name appears here in the top left, uh, American Library Association. You'll also notice that the login box has changed. It's now a profile login box. The background color is dark blue and the button is light blue. Many of the features and functionality um, in the new beta site require that you be logged into a profile in order to use them. So we strongly encourage everyone to um, log into their profile or if they don't have one to create one. You can create a profile by clicking on this profile button here at the upper right and just go down to create profile account. Um, during this initial beta period, we'll, we still have um, our, our, our back-end admin system attached to the original toolkit. So uh, I encourage you to use the original toolkit to update your profile or to create a profile um, at present because it'll be a, little, a lot more um, reliable and, and will process a lot quicker if you do it that way. You notice here we have logout and logout institution buttons. The logout institution button is for those people with um, IP authentication. This logout institution button will clear the um, the user seat for your colleagues. It will free it up right away in case you have um, colleagues who are trying to access the toolkit. So, the main new feature though that we added to um, the login is that we eliminated the double login of logging into your account and then your profile. So you can just log in from this screen with your profile. Just enter your profile name, which I'll do right here, and your profile password, and then click login. And it didn't work. It should work. Let's try it one more time. There it goes. So um, you can see I'm fully logged in now. My institution name is up here, American Library Association. You can see my name is here above my profile. I can manage my profile. And of course, it says, welcome back, James Henley. And it's showing me um, some of the uh, instructions that I've recently viewed, et cetera. So um, that's kind of how the login goes. The one aspect of this profile login that's a little tricky is that all your profile names now have to be unique. In the past, a lot of people used kind of very, um, used their first name or their last name or some kind of very um, common type of uh, uh, name for their profile login. And so people would put Robert or Samantha, Marie, um, and we would have a lot of duplicate profile name. We had a lot of duplicate profile names like that. So you want to make sure your profile name is unique um, because that's the only way we can make this profile login work. So I do encourage you to go to your profile in the here, the original toolkit site. If you um, go in and you can either create a profile or log into your um, old profile. And you want to make sure you, uh, if, you if you're if you logging to your old profile and you Scroll to the uh, bottom of this screen, you'll see a, a space there to make changes to your login. You want to make sure that profile name is unique. 
Um, if you have any problems logging in with your profile or changing your profile name to something unique, do contact us at RDA Toolkit at ALA.org and we will help you resolve that problem quickly. Thank you. I hope you found this video helpful.